Antarctica is a very large place, and what's true in one area may not be true in another. That's why scientists are working in different areas of Antarctica and of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, and why each new finding contributes to a better overall understanding of what's happening on this huge continent and what it may mean for the rest of the world. As a community, the, the glaciological and geological community is far ahead of what we were 20 years ago. There's been a concerted effort with a lot of people working on the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, and so we're, we're far ahead of where we were. Our work seems to indicate that the Ross Sea sector um, may be more stable than we thought, and so that area could be less susceptible to, to rapid collapse. It doesn't suggest that, that the fears about the West Arctic Ice Sheet are, are ungrounded. There really, I think, still is a chance that the ice sheet could, could continue to recede and cause sea level rise. The Ross Sea area is just one part of the West Arctic Ice Sheet, and there are, are two other large coastlines where ice um, can spill quite rapidly into the ocean. One of those is the Weddell Sea embayment on the other side, of West Antarctica, and then the third area is the Pine Island Bay Thwaites Glacier area. And that particular area has been undergoing very rapid recession and thinning of ice in the last, at least the last 10 or 15 years that we know of. Could have been going on longer than that. And so I think of the, of the various areas around West Antarctica, that area is, is the one that we now need to really watch for the future. In Antarctica, as in all of science, knowledge is built up bit by bit. The Reedy Glacier researchers will be returning to study different areas of Antarctica in the future to help increase our understanding of climate change over time and what the future effects of climate change may be on our world.